just getting ready to go to a family thing. I probably look really weird because I only have one eyeball then. But I wanted to show you the look that I was doing. My hair is down too. I never wear my hair down. My bangs are like, pfft. I don't even know what to do with them. Maybe I'll end up pinning them up or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Right now, I just want to show you this look that I did. It's very shimmery. Kind of smoky eye. Dark. Dark smoky eye. I did some contouring. Cheekbone. Don't usually do, so. It's kind of going for a darker look, if you can see. So I'm just going to show you that on the other side. That on the other side. What a difference, hey? Jeez, I love makeup. I love it! Okay, so I'm going to start off with Urban Decay Primer. Primer Potion. Because we don't want that eyeshadow to go anywhere. And I'm just going to take just a tiny bit. Do like my nails? I painted them today. I did all kinds of fun today. I went shopping. So I'm carrying it all the way up to my eyebrow and underneath. Just like that. So it's nice and tacky. Tacky! Those eyeshadows just stick. Don't want to slide off your face. Alright, so, what step did I do first? First, this I just got! Milk Jumbo Pencil. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to look down here for a second. I'm going to slap that into my inner corner. Just like this. I hope you can see the lighting is horrible. So I'm going to slap that into my inner corner. Then I'm just going to blend it a little bit. I barely want to touch it. Barely touch it. Okay. Then. Then. I'm going to use my new 24 hour color tattoo by Maybelline. This color is in Barely Branded. It's really shimmery nude tone. And I'm just going to take this little Dior brush. It's like a dinky little thing. And I'm just going to get some product on there. And I'm going to put my mirror again. Just put that right on the old eyelid. I'm going to blend it up too. It's going to be my base. Right over into the milk. Get some more. Want lots of this? Get all in there. I'm gonna put a little bit underneath too, just for some extra, extra sting powder. Wah! Powder. I meant to say power. Okay. So that's that. Then I'm gonna get my Naked Two palette. And I'm just going to take a, what is this, a MAC 2, 239 kind of flat, fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into Booty Call, the shimmery color here. And I'm going to put that over top of that base, that 24 hour color tattoo that I just put on. Okay, now you're going to think I'm crazy, but we already knew I was crazy. Oh, where did I put it? I lost it. Did I lose it? No. Tape. Gonna take some tape. Then I'm going to put it on my jogging pants because I don't want it to be too sticky because it's going to take my makeup off if it's too sticky. So I just like stuck it on my jogging pants and pull it off. And what I'm going to do so that I get a really nice 
um, defined eyeshadow is I'm going to stick my sticky tape. So make sure it's even with the other side. Stick my sticky tape. Move up a little. Oh yeah, there we go. Stick my sticky tape on my eyeball. Like that. Actually, this is kind of fashionable. Oh yeah. It's like that rapper when I was little he used to wear the band-aid on his face, whoever that was. Nelly? Was it Nelly? I think so. Okay, so damn business! We're still gonna go with the naked palette. And this kind of purplish brown color called Tease is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the brush that comes with it. It's really fluffy. So I'm gonna, gonna get all in that Tease there. Let me clip my hair out of the way, that might be easier. Zah. So I'm gonna get that tease and I'm gonna start working it over here like that and then across my crease. This is just gonna be my base color. Just like that. And a little bit underneath the eye. Blend it really well, all the way across. Just like this. Bam! So, what do I want to do now? Forget how I did this. Cheese. Cheese and rice. So, oh, I have this. Um, too Faced Matte Eye Palette. Looks like this has some really nice colors in it. The colors I'm going to be using today are these two browns up here. So I'm going to take this Sephora All Over Small Eyeshadow brush and I'm going to get the lightest color, just this kind of brown. And I'm going to work that right on top of the tees that I put on. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to go back with the same brush and I'm going to blend that in as well. Just like that. Make sure it looks even. I'm going to look in this mirror. There's one down here, but it's just can't really see very well. Then I'm going to take a little pencil brush. It's dirty because I just did this eye. Then I'm going to go into Coffee Bean. Oh, the other one was called Chinchilla, by the way. I'm going to go in the Coffee Bean, and I'm going to define my outer V. Just like that. Right down. And I'm going to smudge that a little. Blend it. Not too, too much. Then I'm going to take the same brush, go back to my Naked Palette, back into the booty call that we used the first time on the lid. I'm going to pop that underneath the brow bone. I'm just going to blend that in a little bit. I have it over here too, but the lighting's different on this side. There we go. So now I'm going to remove my sticky tape and it's going to look really funny because I just took all the color off my face and all my blush off my face. So I'm going to just take my contour brush and kind of put some color back in there. And the brush that I use for my blush. There we go. I need to put a little bit more concealer on. Actually, I don't know if I did. Yes, I, I did my highlighting. I need a little bit of the other stuff. I'll show you that in a second. I'll do both eyes. So that's that so far. I'm going to take that brush again and the pencil brush and I'm going to go back into that tease color. I'm going to bring that under my eye like so and connect it to that line that we did, that we made. 
and the old eyeball. Then I'm gonna go back to my Too Faced palette. And I'm gonna go back into Coffee Bean and I'm just going to accentuate just the outside. Like that. Bam. So that's the eyeshadow. Um, I did a winged eyeliner using, where is it, where is it, where is it? Black Track by MAC, liquid eyeliner. Um, just going to clean this brush off because it has dried up, um, eyeliner on it right now. Ooh! I'm not very successful at keeping this vanity clean. So, I'm going to take this angled brush, go into my, this is almost gone, I need to get another one, get my black track and do a winged eyeliner. So this is a side I always have a hard time with. I can always get this side really good, this side I can't. So I'm going to look down. Try to get it even. Get some more. Lost it. Oh, there it is. Get some more. I like chips. And I'm going to bring it over. I'm only going to line halfway. Can you guys see what I just did? If you want me to do a tutorial on winged eyeliner, I can. Just make sure it's matching. Gonna wipe this brush off. Baby wipes, look how dirty this one is. So now I like the look of liquid eyeliner, but I find it hard to get on precisely. So I go over my gel eyeliner with liquid eyeliner. I'm just using L'Oreal Linear Intense liquid eyeliner. And I'm gonna use this mirror because it's easier. I go over it. You get more of like a really dark finish. Can you tell? Just like that. So now I'm ready for mascara. Ooh! This is my favorite part. Still using the same mascara. I think it might be a keeper. Again, thank you, Courtney, for introducing me to that. I gotta clean up. There's so much stuff everywhere. Okay, what did I do with it? Okay, bottom eyelashes. Oh, I missed a step. I forgot because I never, never, never do this. What is it? Alright, put it away. I have. Perversion 24-7 Urban Decay Black Eyeliner that I'm going to um, line my waterline with. But I'm not going to bring it all the way over. I'm only going to go halfway. Like that. Because I find it closes my eyes off. Makes them look like little beady eyes. So, now! And then some lips. Don't know what I want to do for lips. Yeah, probably just a gloss or a nude. A nude because I have a dramatic eye. Okay, so bottom eyelashes. Make weird faces as usual. Can you see what I'm doing? His nails are bright and I'm like not summery at all. Not a good choice. Oh well. So then curly upper eyelashes, ladies and gentlemen. Curl away. I need to do a little bit of bronzing on my neck. My face looks like look. It's all fake people. 
Okay, then I'm going to use the same Dior Show Maximizer Primer that I always use. Love this stuff. Need to get some more. So while I'm letting that primer set, I'm going to do some lips. Who is that? I don't know. Hmm. Let's dig, old, dig on into the old tickle trunk. What do we got here? This might be too pink. Let's just try it. I can change it up if I don't like it. Hmm. I don't know. Leave it on there for a second, and then um, and then we'll change it if I don't like it, or maybe lighten it with a gloss. Let's try lightening it with a gloss. Oh, this was Mac Snob Mac, and this is See Through Mac Lip Glass. I'm going to wipe this off before I put it back in there. I don't want to put that pink color in my see-through lip gloss. Ooh. Ooh. Mess everything up. Hmm. I kind of like it. Adds a little bit of color because everything else is so brown. Okay, this should be set. Let's give it one more curl and then finish her off. That's what he said. Keep losing things. Benefit their real mascara. Love it. Another mirror. a lot of coats of this on. Well, like three coats. I think that's a good amount. It doesn't get clumpy and it really works well and keeps your eyelashes up. So we'll let that one dry for a second. I don't know what I want to do with my hair. If I want to leave it down, like part in the middle, if I want to like, I don't know. If I want to like, Paint it back somehow. Mm, too much effort. It's already down, whatever. I leave like that. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just gonna bronze my neck a little bit because it looks a little white, even though I am white. Ah! I'm using NYC bronzer. It's really good. So fluffy brush. See how much better that is already? Except for my hands. My hands are so white. Better. Definitely. So, okay, last coat of mascara. Mmm, get one in there. A little bit more on the other side too. Love this mascara. I recommend it wholeheartedly. Go get it. Um, my friend Courtney told me about it, gave me a little sample, and I fell in love with it. And then when I went to go buy it from the store, the lady told me that, like, I went to Shoppers Drug Mart because there was in a shop, uh, Sephora near me. I'd have to drive like an hour to get to a Sephora, 
and the lady told me this was their number one selling mascara. Things don't become a number one seller for no reason. Okay, so that's my finished look. I'll take you over to the light, because it's like shadow bright, shadow bright. See? It's weird. Actually, hang on. I've got to do something about that. I've got to! Where? Where my brush? I lost. Where are you? I lost my concealer. Freaking brush! Oh, there it is. Never mind. It's where it's supposed to be. That. This is um, CoverGirl Eye Concealer Simply Ages, and I'm just going to pop that in there. Much better! The side. There. Perfect. Hmm. There you go. Just gonna make sure this is blended properly. I don't want to look like a crazy because I am a crazy, but only secretly I am. Okay. Give my hairspray. Try Viva Glam 2. It's a little bit browner. Like <laughs> three lip products on. Yeah, that's better. It just cut me off again. I don't know what's going on. I think my thing is getting too full. I'm gonna have to delete some videos. But let's take you over to the light so you can see the final look. That's it, boys and girls. Brown, bronzy. Yeah, we're on my floor. So, let me know if you like this look. I'm digging it. I gotta go before this thing shuts off on me again. Ugh, stupid freaking. I need a new camera. Mm-hmm.